What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Guys, we're here dealing with the crybaby of colorism. And... You know, for me, I think that it is rather childish. I think that it is rather communal with aspects of communism in it. When you want to demand that people do things for stuff that you don't pay for, you know, imagine coming into somebody's house and ask them, why, why is their furniture sitting that way? Or, you know, why do they have the kind of car that they drive when when no one ever asks you because you're running your damn mouth and you don't pay for shit over there? It doesn't even make any sense to even run your mouth. But this is a society that we live in. And unfortunately, this happened with Yo Gotti, okay? Yo Gotti is a Memphis rapper. Um, I mean, you know. I mean, he's not really that good to me, but okay, cool. But he's, he, you know, he looked like the, the, the cream of wheat guy and, um, he do his thing, right? Shout out to Yo Gotti. And he just had uh, a video called drop with the baby. Right. And the, the song, I will, the beat is hot on there. And if you see, it was a lot of women in, in, um, with water guns, um, by a pool, you know, stuff like that, having fun. Uh, but if you look at the video, you see a lot of, a lot of, um, light skin and non black women. Okay. And uh, you, you see very few black women, maybe like one or uh, it could be a few. Some of them that, that uh, stop, no, they are twerking at that booty though. They, some of them w was thick. I'm not going to lie, but it wasn't the fact that, you know, he was displaying women as sexual objects. That wasn't the problem. The issue was, was where are the brown skinned women at? Okay. And you know, of course this is happening from, you know, women like, look at this girl right here. Uh, brown sugar, day music. So where are all the beautiful brown girls? And then destiny goes, day music. I don't see not nan beautiful melanin woman in this video. I can't get into it. Stop the show. Nobody, nobody cares about what you can get into. All right. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter what you can get into because the video ain't for you. No goddamn way. It's a song. Either you like the song or you don't. If you can't get into the video, then leave. You ain't put no money into the video. I mean, would it have been different if he put you in there? Like it, it, it's, this is what I'm talking about. Like, just shut up. It's his preference of who he wants in his video because he paid the money for. It. If he wanted um, 13 crocodiles in the video, if he wanted uh, one legged strippers in the video, if he wanted people shooting dice in the video, if he wanted folks, it don't see that's the preference. The problem is, is that whenever a black man prefers something, then it's a problem. That's the issue here. And, and as much as I prefer, brown skinned black women and dark skinned black women. I'm not really into the mulatto. I've never been that way. I love, but I love my, uh, the women that look in, in the same skin tone, maybe a one shade or two lighter. And that's what I always have rocked with. I won't even date nobody for the most part. Um, I haven't in almost 15 years. There's somebody that was what I would consider fair skin. I'm not hating on nobody fair skin. It's just not, you know, it's just not typically what I would go for or try to approach. Not to say that fair skin women can't be a good looking because they can't. But even though that is not my preference, fair skin or white or Latina, that's why I don't even go to the Dominican Republic. I went to Brazil one time. I've been to Africa 16 different times. Part of that is because of my typical preference of what I like in women. Outside of the other things that the kind have to offer me. But let's get back to this. As much as it's not my preference to what I want to see on the video, it is his preference. If he wants those women in there and he wants to get a global scene, 
of what hip hop is because we got to understand this too in marketing. Hip hop is just not a black thing anymore. Okay. And see, the thing about it is if y'all were the ones that bought the merchandise, if y'all were the ones that bought concert tickets, then we could put all black women in there. But see, we all know that hip hop, even the, the, the sneaker wear, the street wear game, all of that is being operated like people who buy that are non-blacks. The folks who support, support the music are not the African-American community. The African-American community might make it hot, but they ain't the biggest spinners in hip hop. Non-blacks are the biggest spinners in hip hop. And for, for artists wanting to reach a more global audience with the whites, they're going to put the women in there that they feel that those guys like. All right? And, and, to, be, and to be honest, he could have just done this just for the publicity. Like, we're not going to put no black women in here as much as that because we want the video to take off. And that's all that everybody, you know, like people could, could have fell for it. You know? And for me, I defend everybody's right for their own preference. Because I'm going to tell you like this. You see the women out here that are big women. I talk about all the time. Okay? What is their preference for men? You, you want to know? They want their guys to be whatever color they want and fine. It's only a problem if a black man is doing it. And stop giving me a colorism excuse. If you look good and you're in the video, you're in the video. That man don't owe nobody, white, black, Indian, whoever, that it's, it's his money, it's his concept. If you want all brown skin videos, you go out there and make a video. You go hire who you want. Okay? Stop complaining about somebody's preference for how they want to run in their business. And the black community got that bad, got some kind of entitlement to somebody's money. Some kind of, y'all even do the here on my channel, coming in and telling me what I need to be doing. You don't pay me. You ain't gave me not one dollar. And it's always the people who complain the most ain't never going to give you nothing. That's why I say F them. You know? And all this crying about colorism. Like, I'm sorry, the one sister that I saw that commented. Okay. Now, if he would have offered you to be in the video, you would have been okay with it. The thing is, is that those women in that video is what guys want. That's the problem. If you put all black women in there, the issue is going to be, why y'all treating us like sex? Uh, uh, why you um, 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 treating us sexually? Let's move to the goalposts. But since not many black women, well, why ain't any other black women there? The fact is, those women are hot, right? Whatever color they are. That's what men want. So you can't body shame that. A lot of time I think this colorism argument is uh, combined or conflated with other ideas to hide the real issue that they have. Those women are who what women want, men want. All men are going to gravitate to women who are hot like that. And y'all are trying to change that. So whenever you get a chance to poke fun or, or to start hating on something, you'll do it. And you expose yourself. Okay? This is not a colorism thing. Because uh, most women in the black community that get married ain't like that. A lot of black women getting married dark, brown. Okay? All the time. But the consistent crying about colorism has to stop because if guys start listening to it, they're going to continue to move the goalposts. Then it's going to be, well, why is she so skinny? Well, why is she so, uh, why is she not big? Where are the big girls at? It's always, just, just listen. If you want somebody to star on whatever, do what Oprah did. Start the Oprah network. Do it that way. That way you, you can do what you want with your goddamn money. Stop crying about what other people are doing with their money. People who worked hard for their money, they don't owe you nothing. I don't care if it's a man or a woman. Nobody owes you nothing. Shut up. Seriously. Let that man do him. Because you know what? As much as you're crying about his video, there's so many brothers out there that won't have black women in their videos. Still. So worry about who's checking for you. 
And if I'm not mistaken, he was checking for Angela Simmons for a long time. And she brown skin. So anyways, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all-time high. Don't get the black man to purchase t-shirts. I'm out.